grace, power, ministry, and love. Incline your ears to wisdom and your hearts to understanding. Receive the word of God according to knowledge. Welcome to preach. To preach. To preach. Be a voice, not an echo. Join Minister Chantrell for today's message. Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me again today on Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo. I'm Ambassador Chantro Davis. Today is February the 7th of 2018. It is 10.18 a.m. Central Time. I'm going to begin off sharing a couple of visions. Uh, some of the visions are repeated. And anytime the Lord shows me things repeatedly, you know, I've been praying because there's not specifics, um, but repeatedly. Um, so I'm going to share a couple of dreams and then I'll most likely be delivering a couple of ministry messages that the Lord gave me that are extremely urgent. And I would oppress not just me, anyone who moved forth in ministry and in prophecy. I, I move forth in prophecy and as a prophetess and we in, in rhema word right now, right now word. And we have to pay attention to what he's speaking now. So I pray that you actually share these messages because they are urgent and they are from the Lord. These particular dreams, um, uh, we're going to have some people in prayer because he has that shown me specifically what. But when I see people repeatedly, um, I need to at least put it out there. Um, I'm going to go with the first dream first. Um, I had this vision and I don't like to say dream because when you waken or just straight <laughs> vision. I had this one January the 26th of 2018. Um, I'm getting it recorded now. I simply entitled it Ashes Fall Over the U.S. Um, eruptions, waves to the left and to the right. I mean, any of you who have listened to me know that I will title it just what I see. I'm not trying to find some sensational name to get you to click. If you want to know what the Lord is speaking, you're going to, you're going to listen to what the Lord is speaking. And I'm not going to use gimmicks to get someone to click and listen. They have to be in tune to the spirit because it's going to, it's going to cost people in the end that they're not in tune. They're going for sensationalism and I, I'm not the one. This particular message Literally what the Lord showed me. I mean, even when I looked out the window that I'm looking out right now, that's how I know it's even in the middle. As I saw ashes falling over the United States, ashes. And in my heart and spirit, I heard volcanic. And I'm thinking, oh, how? And I know we got volcanoes in the United States. And those of you who haven't looked at the dream, I recorded the dream, three of them. The Lord showed me three dreams back to back in rapid succession. And I mean, one, I even felt pyroplastic flow going down my throat. I felt it. OK, y'all got to listen to that. I, that was terrifying. And um, ashes falling over the United States through the air, literally volcanic ash. And we were looking out the window and just that quick, the ash had come. And me and my husband was talking about it in this vision. And I mean, it was falling like snow at first. We we're like, what is that snow? We look, we said, no, this ash. And in a blink, it had overtaken. And I mean, Western, Eastern. And so far, it came to the middle of the United States. And then in a flash, in the same dream, I saw a large wall of water coming from the east. And I saw a large water water coming from the west. I've had these dreams of waves from the east and west more than once. Those of you who don't know, I have a dream playlist as well as a ministry message. I don't just suggest that you listen to the dreams and vision. The word that the Lord has given me is rhema because it's going to be to the saving of people's souls because it's revelation of things we thought we knew that are error. And he's trying to bring us into alignment of where he is now. And to bring people to understand it. So after I was moved, I mean, these waves were rising. It makes me think of the scripture uh, that the waves, waves rise up to the heaven and they go back down to the ocean and they cry out. Uh, that scripture just came to me and I had not looked it up. But that scripture just came to me. So it must be relevant and I will put it in the scripture. Uh, but that was the end of that vision. OK, and I'm going to read just the scriptures I always read. May not all of them, because those of you who look, uh, listen to dreams and visions that I give, you know, I've done this more than once. I'm going to start with John 13 and 19. Now I tell you before it come that when it come to pass, you may believe that I'm he. That's the Lord showing me. So I know it's him that it, and as well as for you. Um, Pro, uh, uh, Proverbs 29 and 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. That's not only vision as in dreams, but visions for you seeing the hidden things. You seeing what's going on in the world. You're seeing the foresight, insight and hindsight. OK, I want you all to catch all of that. Second Chronicles 36 and 16, but they mocked and I'm going to get mocked the messengers of God and despised his words until the wrath of God rose till there was no remedy. Y'all going to keep hearing me say that. First John 4 and 6, he that knoweth God heareth us. He that knoweth not God heareth us not. Ezekiel 33 and 3, 
And when this cometh to pass, lo, and it will come to pass. Then they should know that a prophet had been among them. Matthew 10 and 27. Hear what I tell you in the darkness that speak you in light. And what you hear in the ear that preach on the housetops. I'm doing that today. Acts 2, 17 through 18. And it shall come to pass that in those last days, saith the Lord, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters will dream dreams and uh, 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 shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my service and in my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy. Whatever I said, prophesying is not only proclaiming the word, but it is also foretelling what the Lord has shown us because he makes known the hidden things and the treasures. He had shown me that he had given me three keys with doors, three keys with doors on top. He, the treasures are the things in secret that they think no one can see. He will make them known. Um, I'm just going to say Malachi 3 and 7. You can read it on your own time. Return unto me and I will return unto you. Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the Lord. Behold, I come quickly. We know that. And I'm warning the wicked according to Ezekiel 33, 7 through 9. And I'm warning the righteous according to Ezekiel 3 and 20. Um, that's the end of the scripture. Take this dream before the Lord. Stay tuned because I got another one coming um, that I'm going to have you guys lift uh, people up in prayer because he's shown them multiple times to me. So they are not for nothing. Uh, God bless you. Grace be with you. And I love you all. Thank you for joining us today on Preach. Be a voice, not an echo. We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be with you.